this is <laughs> before we dive into this brand new CC shopping haul, I'm gonna need y'all to take a seat, grab a little snack because we are in for a wild ride. A long time ago, once upon a time, a crazy girl named Jennifer Lynn decided, you know what? Less is more. Let's play The Sims 4 Vanilla. Well, that didn't last very long because we're about four hauls deep. And after this one, y'all, it is absolutely freaking official. I am fully back into the CC game. I mean, just take a second to appreciate the aesthetic the vibe also Josie's hair in the comments down below if you can guess where this hair is from I will literally give you a cookie emoji because I don't think y'all even know about these hairs maybe you do and I'm just like late to the game I don't know I'm probably making a total jackass out of myself but let's just dive in before I continue to embarrass myself I was sort of in the mood to switch things up in this particular haul so I'm gonna show you guys the outfits that I created with the these assets and demonstrate how they intermingle with one another do keep in mind there's about 20 or so items within this particular haul baby girl needs to get her facts straight there's almost 200 items all of which I will go ahead and reblog on my tumblr the link will be in the description so we're gonna start off with this particular outfit here this is totally my style through and through I love this slouchy sweater also the ripped jeans these are both individual assets I absolutely adore how this particular sweater uh, kind of tucks in to the jeans. Now you will notice a little clipping here. It doesn't particularly bother me, um, depending on which jean you use. This might be more prominent than not, but they do actually disappear. Again, just depending with what pant you go for. Uh, the second outfit that I have to share with you guys is this one here. I think it is perfect for the club. As y'all can see, she is rocking a beautiful wavy bob. We have some fresh edges under there. And also these sandals are to die for. This looks really, 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 really cozy and well I'm not gonna lie <laughs> like a little a little airy uh, outfit number four is also really adorable um, this chain is an accessory that is in with this haul also if you guys can notice her top is a little sheer and her bra is showing through I think that is so sweet not to mention I feel like these assets pair perfectly with these kind of mid calf um, bell bottoms and again the infamous sandals that you saw earlier also this hair is just gorgeous it kind of ties the whole outfit together Together. Going back to the original outfit that you saw Josie in, by far, hands down, my absolute freaking favorite. Again, utilizing the sandals, I kind of think they're a staple in this haul, but also this maxi dress, this beautiful crop top, these gorgeous gold earrings, her makeup by me, <laughs> um, and this nose ring. I think everything here is just a freaking vibe. Also, this hair, which I'm sure is definitely the center of attention. Um, it was created by Busted Pixels, and if you said that this was a Fortnite hair, my friends, you were correct. Let's dive in to skin details. For the longest time, I was opposed to downloading any sort of skin overlay or default skin at all. For the main reason, because it totally changes the way a sim looks when you upload them to the gallery. And also if you change your game, it's just kind of a big pain in the ass. Now, this particular skin by Dusty, in my personal opinion, is beautiful. It actually just changes the face, but it does it in a way that it's not too overpowering. It kind of smooths everything out. It also brings those beautiful features forward. And overall, I just think it creates a very, very nice dimension to the face. I also downloaded from Make Sims these Adam's apples. I feel like this is a very minor detail that kind of brings a lot of character in the game. C Productions definitely, definitely, definitely pull through I downloaded it so much for them they have the most whimsical beautiful edges I have literally ever freaking seen and they go great with so many different hairstyles and varieties then by I think real sims we have these um, hairlines that are for you know all different hairstyle types it doesn't really matter here we got a lot of range and shades but also we have a lot of different variety so we have like the wispy we've got the prim the proper the fancy and again they tie in extremely 
beautifully into these hairlines. If you're looking for a great asset to bring character to a sim, tattoos are absolutely the way to go. I found this particular tattoo set from Ocean Sims' Tumblr, and the cool thing about this is you can mix and match. There's also a swatch here where you can apply all of the tattoos to the sim in different varieties, and if you look even more closely, you'll notice that they're all sims related. So here we have the infamous cow plant. We also have Bone Hilda. I do believe this is a llama skull with a plum bob in the back. Um, this particular set can be found throughout the different categories within the tattoo catalog. So if you want, you can completely layer up, mix and match and kind of create a whole body sleeve if you wish. Now, one of the things that just kind of dawned on me is the lack of color tattoos in The Sims 4. Like literally, we've got maybe like a handful and I don't know why that is. I found this little strawberry tattoo again off of Ocean's Tumblr and I had to have it. I was a little hesitant because I wasn't sure if the art style would fit within the game, but to be real with you, I love the way that this looks. It has been a hot minute since I have downloaded any custom content eyebrows, but I couldn't pass up this five piece set by Peach Fairy. It features some very natural and fluffy eyebrows, which are unfortunately trending because your girl literally has none. But I digress. This particular set is very universal. It flatters all different sims and there's a variety of different styles to choose from. Of course, you can tailor make the brows to your liking even more by playing around with the sliders. I wanted to take a second out to share with you guys my latest creation and that is the Bloom Blush and Bronzer Duo. Basically, they are to kind of create this illusion of a post Photoshop edit where I kind of deepen up um, some of the shadows on my sims that naturally would occur. Let me kind of explain a little bit further. So in order to get the bronzer, you can actually get it in the face paint category or if you wanted it to be able to utilize other assets within my collection or maybe other makeup assets that you have in yours, you can do that. The whole entire idea is to give you as much range as possible. The only thing that I would say is an issue with it being a skin detail is the lack of availability when it comes to sliders. Now, I'm probably going to update the shade range as we go on, especially if you guys are noticing, hey, this isn't enough. I have no problem kind of customizing it a little bit further. You might notice there is a little blotchiness happening, and that is simply because of the skin overlay that I'm using. I do create these on a naked sim, meaning no default skin or anything quite like that, just to hopefully have them blend in game as much as as a possible. So if you did decide to use the bronzer in the face paint category, now you have the ability to truly customize it to your liking. I will say this though, um, the kit literally does depend on you using sliders in order for you to get the best outcome possible. And I love the fact that there are so many different ways that you can play with these as well. I did decide to go ahead and throw in a little blush. Again, right now it's looking a little crazy. And even the range, you're probably thinking, Jen, what? What the hell is going on here? Um, it's all about sliders, my friends. It's all about sliders. Again, I wanted to create a palette that allows you to truly customize and have the freedom to do so with any sim of your choosing. Again, a lot of these different swatches have different purposes, maybe to brighten, lighten, um, to shape and sculpt. It's just kind of completely up to you. I don't know why I'm even surprised. I always do this, but I went a little overboard when it came to downloading hairs. I have so many different styles from all different types of creators, but the very first one here I do believe is by Dog so don't quote me on that. Now, one thing I did notice about this particular hair, although beautiful and perfect in almost every way, the specular layer on this one is on a 10. Very, very shiny and super duper intense. It almost takes away from the hair itself. There is also this cute little accessory so that you can add more uh, personality to your Sims's hairstyle, which is nice. These two here, this one and the fourth hairstyle are by Clumsy Alien. Normally, 
I wouldn't be a fan of these little like wispy pieces because I felt like they were too uh, alpha for me. But here's the bag. I used to be a huge alpha stan and I do believe now that they have grown on me. It's kind of like that sweet spot between Maxis Match and Alpha that I am really enjoying. Not to mention these hairs are seriously so freaking beautiful. We also have a pair of space buns, another hairstyle that I frequently download. I don't know what it is. Um, a couple different creations by A. Harris as well. This particular hairstyle here kind of confuses me. I do believe you could actually change the little front pieces here um, with a swatch tool. I'm not sure. I thought you downloaded it. Probably didn't. But one thing I did notice is that you can actually change the um, little elastics in her hair as well, which I think is kind of cool. Again, I'm all for being able to customize my looks. This hair, I know for a fact, is called the Kylie hair, probably because Kylie Jenner has been seen wearing something very similar to this. We also have a very natural hairstyle that features a mid-length middle part with some beautiful, luscious, like, waist at the end. Oh, we got green llamas. I love hairs by green llamas and Brittany and just everybody I've named so far to be honest with you. But this hairstyle here, I don't know. I love that it comes in two different variants, especially because if you want, you can kind of switch it up, add in a little headband, pop into the hats category and switch it up to your liking. So the um, next set of four hairs, I can't recall the creator, but one thing that I can say for certain is these hairstyles excite me in ways that I couldn't even imagine. I love that we have so many different variations here and underneath accessories we can play with the ombre. Now I used to have ombre hair that kind of looked a little something like this. Now my hair is like red underneath <laughs> um, but I love being able to add color to my Sims's hairstyles. I think that's so wonderful. Then we have this short hairstyle here that I think was intended for the males but it's very unisex and again it features the little wispy bits but they're growing on me and I love them. Let me know how you guys feel about the little like strands in the comments down below, especially if you're an MM, uh, you know, fanatic, I guess. So Shea Butter has come through and created a braid collection. As you guys can see, there are so many different hairstyles to choose from that I really feel like this would be the only braid set that you would possibly need. They are detailed. They are beautiful. They are gorgeous. Coupled with CCs. Okay, I think it's like, wait, hold on. Is it CC's or is it like C Productions? Sorry. C Productions edges. Oh my gosh, your options are endless. These are seriously so beautiful, so gorgeous, and beyond realistic. I am so happy <laughs> that this creator is back. And in case you guys didn't know, um, the original name of this creator was Savvy Sweet. So definitely check out that collection. We have more buns. These buns actually um, have these beautiful textured edges to them. They are so gorgeous. We also have this hairstyle here that I thought was really pretty. Uh, now, Aretha actually has a bunch of collections out. I can't remember which is which, but I do believe that this collection here is from the Pretty and Savage collection. I love the length of this, and I believe maybe even some of these are from that collection as well. It's a little, it's a little hard to tell, but if you go in the lighter swatches, you'll notice that the elastics are actually dark brown. I don't think you can change them, um, but we have a couple other hairs by... Aretha here and this one is kind of like a mid-length long hair which is really nice too. We've got one that kind of has like a little tassel in the front, a very short hair with those gorgeous wispy pieces and a clip in the back which I think this collection might have actually been the feels like summer or I think maybe the so casual set. I'm not sure. I will say this though this hair right here is probably one of my freaking favorites with edges and looks absolutely beautiful. It's so damn gorgeous and sleek. Now, um, these little guys here with the little flower are also a part of a collection. <gasps> Tell me why I love this hair so much. It is so beautiful. Oh my God. And it's like banging on Josie. Okay. So earlier I told you guys, did I tell you? I might've already told you it's been a minute, but, um, Busted Pixels has created an entire collection surrounding, uh, deriving the meshes from Fortnite hairs. And even though it might be a little like early 2014 when the Sims 4 came out, I don't care. I don't care. These hairs freaking fit the game so perfectly. They're beautiful. And even if they are a Fortnite hair, totally they get away with it. They get away with it. You definitely have to check these out. There are so 
many and just take my word for it y'all will never see hairs like that y'all will never see hairs like that it's crazy um so by dc we have a beautiful little sleek bun we also have this high pony i do believe i've actually had these hairstyles in the past in my game i'm not sure maybe once i deleted everything i lost them but they have three different variants we've got braids we got twists and we also have dreads that feature this beautiful um twist bandeau on top and then if you want you can actually come in here and and switch up the color which allows you to customize your sims's look even further we have this beautiful 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 um rendition on the base game fade that i also think looks really nice uh a bunch of hairs by marisol this one's really cute too because it has braids and then these little like braided pieces in the front we've got like a shorter hairstyle with nice um with a nice fringe and then a longer length hairstyle that kind of clips into my sims's face because she's a little wide i'm not gonna lie like her cheek are very prominent so that's what's happening in case you guys are wondering it's not the hairstyle itself it's just because i really love round faces and i think she's just i don't know i love her structure and then the last one here is also really pretty it's kind of like a longer hairstyle but it's tucked behind the ear which i also thought was really cute and tasteful uh let me see i have a hat here which i think is so adorable this did come as a part of the pretty and savage collection by aretha and i'm so happy to say that that this particular hairstyle fits this hat because it is such a vibe together uh, we also have clips for some of the hairstyles I think um, it goes with this one so as you guys can see there's like little like little clips that you can kind of customize your hair with if you wanted it to um, moving in to accessories I did share with you guys um, in the first outfit here uh, these really beautiful like kind of sunburst earrings i do believe this is a part of a two-piece set by someone elsa is her name it comes with a beautiful 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 maxi dress now in one of the kits we got this earring set by aretha and oh my god you can actually see the earrings glistening <gasps> that's crazy and i do believe there's like some cuffs here in the back but unfortunately my sims's ears are a little you know pronounced so it doesn't show up but that is definitely super super beautiful uh again part of aretha i think she like just stole the freaking showcase but that's fine we have um some necklaces here too that are really cute i do believe these are part of the feels like summer set again i downloaded like 45 sets from her so i don't know which is which now um again by aretha we do have some makeup assets we have this beautiful beautiful eyeshadow palette that has like little um what you might call it like daisies i guess and then somewhere in here by a harris britney oh <gasps> that's where the accessory is get out of left field why does it work on her hair that's cool okay so that accessory that i thought i didn't download surprise i did it's just in the makeup category of all places which obviously you kind of wouldn't expect i wish i wish there was an accessory for this hair because even though it's not supposed to go there i'm kind of living and loving it anybody else getting tired yet because oh my goodness gracious my throat is starting to hurt i'm not used to filming this much or even talking this much even though i do chat quite a bit but anyways we are here in the tops the first asset i got is this beautiful oversized well i guess just comfy lounge tee it does clip a little bit unfortunately but that isn't a complete deal breaker to me i still really like it now you guys saw this in one of the outfits and it's just basically um this very comfy slouchy off the shoulder sweater it comes in at two different variants we have a tucked in version and then a non tucked in version one is apparently like an ea palette the other isn't i don't know maybe it's just like the color selection is what they're referring to this next um few assets or these next few assets are actually by a harris britney i really like these these are actually a part of the cottage living add-on collection so basically he's taking assets from cottage living and expanding on them i really like like what he did here these tops specifically are so versatile and you can literally pair them with absolutely anything they're fun they're flirty they're feminine i just really like them and i think they're perfect for summer i'm not sure what this top came from i think this is by aretha as well but it's just one of the collections i think it's really cute it's like this little halter kind of well i guess not really a halter it's like a crop top but it tears down a little bit i don't know how to explain it then we have this other crop top which is crazy because for the longest time i'm like i'm tired of crop tops but 
here we are downloading a bunch of them. I don't know. This girl cannot make up her mind. Anyway, I'm just going to kind of go through all the different types of, um, you know, shirt selections that I ended up picking up. This one's really cool too. Very trendy, very in the now. I also like this top here because it is like a racer back tank. It has a couple different prints and stuff, but also has like these little buttons. Super cute. Um, this top probably is one of my favorite. Y'all saw it a little bit earlier. Um, I love that it is kind of see-through and there's like a bra underneath. I thought that was sweet. This crop top as well kind of is a part of the feels like summer collection, I believe, because it also has like the little uh, daisies that you could pair the necklace with. Um, this top also is another favorite perfect for going out maybe like a little date night who knows it is gorgeous and so flattering i also really appreciated this little tank here again kind of tying into that whole feels like summer vibe this particular top here is also really nice i think I think it's supposed to be transparent in some regions. I'm not really sure, but it's a really good staple piece. You guys might recognize these next band tees as they were a part of the Sim Summer Sessions event. I unfortunately wasn't able to partake in the event because I was too busy doing pre-filming for the Cottage Living early release. Now, if you guys did attend this event, let me know how it went in the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What could have been better? I'm really curious to know what your experiences were. Now, we're moving on to some CC tops that weren't a part of any sort of event. This one here is really cute. I love that it is like a cropped like sleeve sweater. Also appreciate the ruching and just kind of how flattering it is on my sim in general. Now I'm not gonna lie I definitely splurged on uh, Rusty's Patreon a little too hard um, but I'm always down for supporting creators and this particular set was too hard to pass. Now I think there is actually a pair of pants and there's a few sets up right now that are um, underneath Patreon that I think are so worth getting and I think it was these pants I'm not sure either way they kind of mix and match very well um it's just a really cute simple outfit and I think it looks very very nice on Josie here I can't recall what set this is from um I like this particular top here but it's just a little too revealing for my taste I could only imagine you know tatas to the wind if Josie bent over to pick up her you know pen or something like it would be not a vibe that I'm down with you know what I mean especially like it would be kind of embarrassing if I was her uh this this top is really cute too. I love that it has like a little collar and then also the detailing um, here as well is also very nice. I'm just a little obsessed with these crop tops. I feel like they are so cute, especially with Rusty's high-waisted jeans. And it, it kind of creates like this very relaxed, casual fit. May not be your type, but like let's just play for a sec. Uh, throw in these little sandals or maybe even these sandals, which I haven't shown you yet. And it's like a complete and utter vibe. A little mixy matchy but I'm here for it also as you guys can see I did download a lot of solids a lot of um, you know kind of just very basic pieces too and I feel like that is definitely reflecting my vibe or a vibe that I would want to get into like I don't know I've been kind of into fashion myself personally just haven't implemented it yet because these quarantine pounds are kicking my ass <laughs> can you relate or can you relate I mean hello there buffalo wild wings how are ya um anyway <laughs> this top I don't know what it is but I like it it's really cute it has like a little tag it almost looks like scrubs but not i don't know she's working it though it's super cute looks very comfy then we have this a beautiful beautiful uh faux fur coat which i also thought was really nice again kind of wishing i had like an undershirt accessory which i can pick up that's not a big deal i don't know why that's so hard but this top with these pants with this body Whew, girl, watch out now. I mean, she is pixelated through, through and through. I love that. Um, let's go in to the bottoms. You guys already saw these little bell bottoms by Trillic, I think is the name of the creator. There's also like some ombres up in there. And then we have these cute little Bermuda shorts. Maybe they're a little longer than Bermuda shorts. Uh, I think these are by Durios. I am not sure how to say it. Ooh, love this ripped skirt. We also have um, a couple pleated skirt options as well yes and the cool thing about these skirts is that the little belt accessory you saw earlier actually goes with them but as y'all saw uh the accessory does fit other assets as well these are very interesting pants i'm not sure if i'm really liking them a hundred percent i don't dislike them i love the style it's just kind of like the the stitching on them is a little too intense for my particular 
um, taste, but still it's really nice. I think this top is supposed to go together. I don't know. I've been having fun kind of playing around with that skirt and just using it with different tops. So here we have some really beautiful shorts. These are such a good length. I love those. Again, a lot of assets by Aretha. We have some high-waisted distressed jeans. We also have these little like dressy kind of pants too, which are also very perfect for summer. Um, hello, that literally matches. <laughs> I don't know if I would pair it together necessarily, but it does look pretty good. Here's another little skirt. This one's also super duper nice. And then by A. Harris, we have these beautiful boyfriend jeans with this woven brown belt. Um, it appears that it does change colors, but I like that look as well. I've kind of been a fan of the like super tight early 2000s uh, crop tops with like the little frilly bits and then throwing in like a loose pant. I don't know what it is. I haven't seen a lot of people doing that. Well, actually, have I? Yes, I have. Maybe that's where I got it from because like that wouldn't come out of my brain. <laughs> but anyway, this is a really pretty flowy, flowy skirt. I love that too. Then we have a couple overrides for the game. I guess this is supposed to um, overrides or standby. So you don't actually have to override the base game, I guess, distressed jeans, but they do kind of create a little more length. So you're not showing your <laughs> butt crack because nobody needs to see that. Again, a bunch of different um, denim jean designs by Rusty. Do believe some of these are under um, the Patreon paywall still at the time being and some are still available for public release. So you're just going to have to check out and see which ones are available right now. But I do think the wait isn't too long on these. But again, I really like those. Oof. Like I really like those. Also, I found some cute little corduroy pants. I've been having trouble pairing these, but I don't care. I love them so much. And then we have a couple trousers here with like a little belt, a little decal. Those are really nice too as well. And then we have these jeans that are so beautiful I feel like this is definitely a vibe oh my god it's like giving me like Britney Spears vibes I don't know why it's so cute I love uh, the actual style of these freaking pants like I would wear these those look so comfy and then we have more high-waisted jeans we also got a skirt that looks very similar um I got this bad boy I don't know what this is but I love it like I just think the detailing on the top is so different and they're kind of like a like a trouser slack type of a thing and then a um kind of a standby edition of the leather pants in the game i do like them i do i, I i'll play with them and you know kind of intertwine them into my collection um but we'll have to see and then last but not least we have this cute little like poodle dog skirt kind of a thing i don't know the actual name okay just <laughs> Roll with the punches here. All right, so we're gonna move into full body. I picked up these outfits by, I don't know the name of the creator, but you'll definitely see them on my Twitter or my Tumblr, but cute. Holy Madonna. <laughs> like, what is going on here? I don't understand why her tits are pokier than a thumbtack. I'm not judging. I might be slightly jealous, but these cannons are about to fire. Um, the thing is, is I think the, the smaller the Tata is less of the point here, but I don't know. I love the outfit, but I'm not, I, I'm not understanding. I'm not understanding why her tits look like they are about to create ice sculptures, but if you all know, feel free to chime in. And then this dress here is also really cute. It's kind of a little more alpha for me, but God, is it beautiful. It just, it doesn't, no, no pokey titties. Anyway, uh, by Aretha, we have this really, really, really cute dress here, which I think is perfect for like girls night. We've got a dress version of the little racer back tank and then we have um a couple other dresses here too uh derived from the tank tops that you saw this is a cute dress i saw this dress and i'm like you know what normally i wouldn't gravitate towards you but something about the way you be moving babe has me feeling some type of way especially for cottage living uh someone elsa remember her that's right i was talking about her earlier um she's the one that created this cute little cute little number you know i'm like come on girl like yes oh my god God damn, she is just looking so cute. I love it. It's adorable. You need it. What else is there to say? And then um, I grabbed this like kind of, I don't know how to like cottage core uh, summer dress. I, it's just, it's cute. I really liked this swatch like a ton. 
Anyways, uh, the rest of the outfits you've pretty much seen. They're just like dress versions of the tank tops, except for this one. Now, this is a completely like standalone dress. It has almost like a silk cottony finish to it. I love this cut on her. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like she kind of makes everything look pretty damn good. Oh, there is a little accessory top here. Remember, like my whole entire gripe this entire time is how I wish I had an under like an undergarment for some of these outfits and I do but I almost like it without it so uh, it works for these ones for the the for the shirt that's gonna be ta ta to the wind those are fine um but yeah we do have a little we do have a little undergarment accessory too and even like a tank I believe oh as well nice okay um I wanted to show you guys the belt accessories we've been kind of talking about it a lot here I'm gonna get her into something a little more cuter so that we can kind of showcase those a little bit let's play around with some dark denim jeans and then again under accessories this is by I do again I believe the pretty and savage collection um but the cool thing about these is that they actually can go on anything so it just depends what you're going for but they're pretty flattering and very universal to where you could literally wear them on just about any outfit uh, outfit <laughs> as long as it allows but i think that is so pretty maybe i wouldn't have it in pink but i definitely would put it in some damn gold oh my god that is just so gorgeous even with these earrings like i'm like so in love and obsessed i found these gorgeous slides by Jews, I think is the name and these bad boys are absolutely a must have the color selection the detail everything about them is just on a ball they're so great and then also I grabbed these sandals which I do believe are a part of a collection not 100% sure but 100% certain that you definitely need to have these in your game of course we couldn't leave our men behind we have Reese Lewis here sporting these items as our model the first outfit is kind of a mixture of C's productions I think it's called like the calm fit collection and then we also we have Aretha's shorts and <laughs> the fab fit kit shoes from EA super crazy I know anyways the collection itself is actually really nice and diverse it has a lot of different little assets including this hat here also with included in the collection um, is this very very universal nose stud that does indeed fit broader noses also it's very proportional Fortunate too. It's not like a big old globe on your nose. It's super weird. This whole entire fit is a freaking vibe. Outfit number two is definitely a little more dressy. I love the kind of button up top underneath with this gorgeous. I don't know. It's like a sweater. I don't really know the name of it. Also, he is rocking some base game dress shoes. And I do believe this watch is also base game. Not 100% sure. Then outfit number three is kind of like this monochromatic look. We have a very casual T by C Productions, which I do believe is a part of the Calm Fit collection. And I would even argue that these um, shorts are as well. The entire outfit itself is just so on freaking a trend. I know what you're thinking, Reese, what are those? <laughs> I don't know why, but socks and slides or thong sandals definitely like fit the vibe for me. It just screams, I really don't care. This last outfit here, I'm a little, I'm a little bamboozled by the shoes, but I think it kind of works. I'm not sure. Um, this top again is I think from C Productions. No, who's this by? Aretha? Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually by Aretha. And it tucks in the front, as you guys can see here. Also, there are a variety of different prints and whatnot. These uh, denim jeans are by Darius. And I really like the way that these look as well. Now, the shoes, I do believe, are from... <laughs> would you look at that outdoor retreat and the socks which are gray for some reason i don't know if uh reese hasn't been doing laundry i think they're just like from outdoor retreat or some other pack as well very cute so we are going to showcase some of the hairstyles i ended up getting these two are part of the calm fit collection and the first one i think is called like the daryl hairstyle and it's like a flat top but it also has this beautiful um cutted part into it and i like that uh the second one is again just kind of a very soft rendition on the base game fade then we have a couple hairstyles here by okay rue and sim trouble which is another one of my absolute favorite creators we're gonna lighten this one up a little bit and just show you all the detail this is giving me major
Asia G Easy vibes if you don't know who he is. He's a rapper that I may or may not have a slight crush on. We're not going to talk about it because it's definitely not my proudest moment, but it just reminded me of him like a lot. <laughs> And then uh, I do believe this is also part of the collection. I don't know who it was that collect. <laughs> I'm glitching um, that created this, but it's there. And then also we do actually have um, the twists from C production as well with the beautiful little um, twist twist. What is it? Oh, gosh, I forgot already. Dear God. But you know what I'm trying to say. And then Marcel came up with this hairstyle that actually has a little headband on it. And I like it. Like, I really do. And then also this hairstyle as well. Um, both for the males. Super duper cute. Okay, so for facial hair, I thought I downloaded more. But for some reason, <laughs> I can't find it. We got this little beard set. Or not beard set, but beard by HG, which definitely has to be one of my favorite facial hair creators from men like n knocks it out of the park 10 by 10 i love it um and then we have the subtle sideburns i believe so if i put on a hairstyle where it actually matters you can kind of see like the subtleness of it maybe over here yeah there you go do you see how that kind of just like tapers into the rest of the sims of skin i love that okay he looks really weird without his beard okay i swear like the beard is like makeup for men <laughs> Whew, there we go anyway last one i have here i can't remember the creator's name but i also really liked this one as well there is some pixelation happening here uh for whatever reason but honestly it's not that big of a deal in my personal opinion hats we do have um the hat from c productions called fit collection the only issue you'll notice is you will get some clipping back here but it's not really a big deal to me and then we have this really fun hat as well that is a part of the pretty and savage collection maybe possibly i'm not sure for accessories i don't have much but i do have that no stud that i mentioned earlier by c productions it comes in a bunch of different like metal variants we've got onyx gold rose gold silver bronze and whatever else um to accompany that i actually downloaded a chain that I downloaded a very long time ago that you would definitely see the Foreman boys rocking all the freaking time comes in two different variations one for smaller men and then one for bigger men as it was put and then um, if you wanted to you could also grab the earrings too and I just feel like these three as a set looks so damn good together I think this is by Lumia I can't remember but I'm sorry just this right here is doing things to me that it should not okay so anyways how embarrassing <laughs> but i love that i can like tell you guys that and even though you might think i'm creepy you just you live with it okay so for tops we have of course a variety of just very very casual pieces i just i don't know there's something very sexy about a guy that knows how to dress with you know very minimal things involved but also like you know how to pair I don't know I you know what I think I'm falling in love with Reese I think that's just what's happening like mm -hmm. like this is just yep this looks good and you know it <laughs> I'm just like we also have this top here by Aretha and then another top as well that has um kind of like this layered effect I love the open shirt and even though this chain is kind of clipping in it wouldn't be to the degree that it bothered me so much that I would just chuck it I think it still kind of looks nice uh, the polo top, as y'all saw a little bit earlier, comes in a nice little variety, too. We do absolutely have, okay, the fur jacket for men because I think it looks so cute. And this top here as well looks phenomenal. I'll admit it. Like, he looks good. And then we have the Summer Sessions band tee, which also looks nice, too, right, um, for men. So you guys can also be able to enjoy those assets as well. So for C Productions, we have some uh, pants here, which y'all could definitely pair with um the assets that came with the actual set itself i think they're meant to go together these are the shorts for them and then we have dario's uh shorts bermuda shorts that are also for the females we've got some really nice sleek distress distressed denim jeans we've got uh some flare aka bell bottoms and then we also have the revised distressed denim jeans the shorts by aretha that are definitely my favorite uh scorpio two skinny jeans by newcrest now there are a bunch of different jeans in here we've got like solids we've got kind of like the cuffed ankle ones we also have i do believe a pair of skinnies 
Some of these don't actually, all these don't actually have the rips and the holes in them. But if you did want a version of the rips and the holes, I think the Scorpio version one is going to be your calling. And then of course we have the, that actually doesn't look that bad. I'm not going to lie to you. It doesn't look too bad. Um, the revised base game leather pants. As much as it hurts for me to say this, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know what your favorite asset in the comments down below was. Also, if you're interested in picking up anything that you saw here today, I will be reblogging everything on my Tumblr. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Yeah, sun will shine.